What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube on magic.internet slash the gathering. I mean, it's just Mox Pearl, right? Mind Twist is cool. Mox Pearl's cooler. I like Baleful. <clears throat> I like Rakdos Signet, but ain't really. Ain't really here to not take a Mox Pearl, so. Remember that time the other day I called it a Mox Pearl, but it was actually a Mox Sapphire? Oh, took the day off for the girlfriend's birthday, but then you're here watching me stream. Classic. Classic mediocre magic, man. Every year for her birthday, I shave my girlfriend's back. That's good, because once you hit a year, like, usually the hair is, uh, it's really, uh, taken over at that point, so I understand. Ooh, Eureka. Eureka's gonna... Oh, God, it's gonna be in my head already. Fuck. These childhood memories, man. Overgrown Tomb's cool. We can go Abzan. Badlands is cool. We can go Mardu. <clears throat> Have you seen the other sweet parody of the shirt that your shirt is a parody of? No, but that's actually fucking awesome. That's actually incredible. I don't know what I want here. I really don't want to commit to anything too crazy. I should be Gideon. Blah. You want to do mono white? Alright, Adonto Vanguard it is. Ooh, Amiria's Call. That's a mono white card if I ever saw one. Nothing else is even that, that competitive here. Oh, Ayakupo. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I appreciate you. So if all if everything goes according to plan, tomorrow I'll be picking up my PlayStation in the morning. At eight between eight thirty and nine is my scheduled pickup time. They actually assign you a scheduled pickup time because you can avoid like the crowds and stuff if you've already pre ordered one. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy. Stone Coil is pretty non commandal at Miria's call is pretty sweet though. It's also cost seven. I like Stone Coil though. It's pretty flexible. What about spirit? So okay, anyway, we're going going to pick up the PS at the Best Buy. I'm going to download Spider-Man, get it all set, and then we're going to stream Spider-Man all day for like, God, as long as I can. So it should be a relatively early stream, depending on how quickly I can get everything installed. How many channel points to buy PS? I don't know, I actually use, I use cash money. <clears throat> oh, Monastery Mentor? Hmm, okay. I mean, I'm obviously just taking the white cards at this point, so... Snoozle Moo, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I mean, I don't know if this is even going to be good. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no idea. We're really just... this is We're just experimenting for the most part. I'll take Mana Tithe. Council's Judgment? Oh, when when Vryn, 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 Vryn. I'm going to take the Council's Judgment. I just think it's better. I mean, I love a Vryn Wingmare and all that it represents in terms of taxing my opponents, but... It's Council's Judgment. It's like the best. Why are all these cards in the sideboard? What is this weird thing I'm doing? I like how all these cards are going to the sideboard. Yeah. It's like I'm like, wait, what's going on? How come I can't see my curve right now? <laughs> that was very strange. I don't have no idea why I was doing that. I was like, any reason you're putting the cards in the sideboard? No. Uh, none. I'll take Thraven Inspector. People love Thraven Inspector, man. Mother of Runes? Oh, baby. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is it. This is the magic. <laughs> Big seven. Yeah, well, I don't want to commit to anything yet, so I'll just put all these cards on the sideboard. Maybe it'll work out. This is actually not too bad as far as Mono White start. Oh, the Gideon came back. I'm glad I didn't take that guy. Still still playable. Still triggers Monastery Mentor. We got a Mox Pearl to help that guy along. Oh, the Cyclismo. What up, my dude? Amiria's Call came back? Oh, this is just bananas. Alright, nothing for us here for obvious, for obvious reasons. I'll take the Swift Spear just in case we end up being red-white. Come on, Vryn Wingmare, last card in the pack, one time. Thank you. Dang, only a Fire Blast. Cyclismo, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, nothing exciting here. 
Blade Splicer is what we're first picking. I mean, this pack's actually not that great in general, so... You know, I don't feel terrible about having a first pick of Blade Splicer here, but... You always kind of want better, you know? You want better for your kids. I'll take a Blade Splicer. Well, yeah, we got a nice mono red deck in the sideboard. Oh, I think it's Stoneforge. You guys are going to yell at me to take Armageddon, because I know how you do. Oh, God. I mean, we're taking Stoneforge, and we're hoping that we can get a Batter Skull. Um, I think the last time I caught you live was the day of school. Went remote in March. Oh, my God. Stoneforge is great. Armageddon's probably going to table anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is interesting. I'm almost tempted to take Winter Orb here. I could see Sun Titan being the top of our curve. Yeah, let's take Sun Titan. Is it Winter Orb? It can't be Winter Orb. I, ha I hate Winter Orb. Student Warfare? Seems fine. Well, we're definitely not a Winter Orb rock deck. We're mostly just a Winter Orb play aggressive creatures that are cheap. And then, you know, attack them with those before they can actually do stuff. And if we get, like, Thalia or something, like, it's just better. It's definitely not going to be Balance. Balance is basically a Wrath of God for us. Ooh, Honor of the Pure. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna be honoring here. Also triggers Monastery Mentor. Come on, Batter Skull. One time, give me that bat. Oh, Thalia. All right, so we're just taking all of the white cards, which just happen to be very, very good. Yes! <laughs> There's also nine cards. It's very possible Gideon or Ellen Vala can come back, but wow, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted. This deck actually looks pretty sweet right now. Oh, Swords to Plowshares? Oh, but Eidolon. It's gotta be Swords. Swords is like the best removal spell. Yeah, any of the I love I love all of the the Yargle arts. <laughs> oh, Yargle. Um, I'll take Hazaret again because of the red. I'll take Needle Spires. Wheel of Fortune. Someone can get a Splitter Twin. A braid? Sure. Got a pretty spicy mono red deck in the sideboard here. That's not a joke. Come and knock on our door. We should switch decks between games and I mean like when we have shrine now it's actually not impossible. This is actually kinda kinda funny. Like one, two chain lightning, sure. <laughs> this is hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine solid red cards in the sideboard. <clears throat> oh god, I am gonna open Ancestral. Oh god, here we go. Also, unfortunately, that uh, neither of those white cards came back in the last pack, but... Okay, we didn't open inside. We did open Mana Drain, which is nice. I also don't hate Seasoned Hollow Blade. This is a new guy. Discard a card, you tap it, and he gains indestructible. It's very much a, an Adonto Vanguard type card where you, like, pay a cost, gets indestructible. And it's really the only card for us in here. Yeah, I think Hollow Blade's fine. I don't care, I don't really care about Wasteland, unfortunately. I'd rather just make sure we got dudes in a different curve points. Got a Nugan here. Path is probably fine. People love taking Winter Orb, though. People love, like, either keeping people off Winter Orb, or they like uh, living the, the Winter Orb dream. Yeah, we're just going to take Path. Oh, Smuggler's Copter seems great for this deck. Also, Jitte. 
I think it's Jitte. I think Jitte has less less of a chance of coming back, and we already have Stoneforge. And I'd rather have multiple equipment with, with Stoneforge. Plus, I think people just don't respect Smuggler's Copter. Oh, here, a Blade Hold. Snap it off. Yeah, not even close. There's nothing else in the pack, so it's definitely not close, but it's also not close on a power level, you know? Like, it's just on a... You know, it's just a good... It's just a good solid... Hmm. Kozilek and Aleshnorn. I'm taking this Aleshnorn. <laughs> Who's to say that we're not going to get to seven mana? Who's to say? Just lapse of certainty. I don't think it's great, but it's the only white card in the pack. Oh, spectral with the oh yeah, that's great. That's actually really good. Triggers monastery mentor works great with hollowed fountain or uh, honor the pure, and like it's just three one ones. Lingering souls, man. Now I wish I picked up all these. Maybe a godless shrine comes back. Wait, what did it just take? Lingering Souls is not here. Oh, it took Shambling Vent. Love it when it does that. Okie dokie. Hold on a second. Cool. Uh, League. Two, how far in? 11, 42, 1, 25. Love that. Yeah, I'll just take Wasteland now. That's unfortunate. Solar Blade Paladin did come back. Also, Galda Shrine, but again, we didn't take the... Uh... Yeah. Didn't take the Lingering Souls, so... Char. Stirring Wildwood is nice. That's kind of why I took Knight, because I knew there was a Stirring Wildwood going around. Yep. Alright. Cool. So this is 22. You just play Silverblade Paladin. I mean, we have Council's Judgment, Path, Mana Leak, or, uh, Swords, and Mana Tithe. So it's actually not too bad. Only 13 creatures, but... Spectral is also a creature, so it's 14 creatures. Batter Skull is a creature, so it's 15. Gideon's a creature, that's 16. Yeah, I don't think we're playing a Leshnorn here. I'm going to go get my sandwich. They don't just deliver it to you? I think we're just going to play Silverblade Paladin and call it a day. And then we can add Amiria's Call and Mox and 15 lands. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, we can play Lapse, but I just don't think we're a Lapse deck. We're, like, keeping mana up to Lapse them. Come and knock on our door. Oh, God. I always, I'm always like, save deck. That's got to be it, right? Nope. You actually have to hit the submit button. Yes, Mox. No, just I'll keep Thalia and Jitte, sure. Why not? Cause I mean we're gonna play Jitte on turn three anyway, so it doesn't matter if it costs one more. Man, is this mono white mirror? What? Get out of town, dude. Oh my god. 
We're playing in a mono white mirror match. That's insane. How is this real? Pay one. All right, I did. One. Wait, pay for. Oh, there's two Thalias on board. Wow. That's insane. I'm like, but I did pay one. Oh, two Thalias. That's insane. This is wild, man. What a time to be alive. Yeah, okay. I mean, I do feel like Jitte is going to uh, do some work here. Just going to take a couple turns to cast it. What are they getting? Fairgrounds Warden? Silver Blade. Silver Blade. It's Christmas time in the city. Tempted to do attack here. But then they pair. Yeah, we'll just pass. That's a good one. We got answers. Hmm. Well. So we can equip here, attack, see what they do. And then swords this after blocks. Actually seems really good. Because they're just never blocking. Oh, no blocks. Okie dokie, snakey boy. Well, I'm not going to kill the Thalia now because it could affect their turn. And I don't want them to uh, get... I don't want them to get a discount just because it doesn't affect us at all. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like they should take over this match. Like, they don't actually have mana for, like, Council's Judgment this turn, so that's... Again, like, if we take out their Thalia, they could have they could have Council's Judgment. Get rid of the Jitte. I don't want them to do that, so... <laughs> Alright, we're not going to let them attack because I also don't want them to, you know. I don't want them to flip this and then get that fifth mana. Bing, 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 bing. 
Oh, mono white mirror only on rank. Yeah, that's that's. I was like, I was like, oh, I guess we'll draft mono white. And then we sit down and they're like, oh, I'll be mono white too. And I'm like, okie dokie. What are the odds? Interesting. So Thraven Inspector. We can actually play... I wonder what we can do here. We can kill their Thalia. Play Honor, play Thraven Inspector. Turn the lights on. And we're just attacking, right? Uh, they cannot cast Condemn in, by, by any metric. Condemn costs three mana right now, so... They actually can't cast anything, so they're literally limited to what's on board. Fascinating. So we make this guy a 5-5, five five, we get to eat all of them. If we kill Thalia, we get to eat all of them. No, we don't. We have to actually kill Thalia here. And then we're still just three for wanting them and getting two more counters. That's pretty good. Um, do we play a land this turn? No, I'm going to crack the clue first. If we hit a land, I'll just play honor. Actually, playing Mother of Runes here seems probably better than just equipping. Because then we get to activate Mother next turn. So we get to play Honor and Jitte next turn. Seems better. Do they concede? Wow. Wow. Alright. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to board in the red just because we'll have more, like, removal. Like Chain Lightning, Abrade, Char, play Shrine. I think we're probably fine like this, but it's definitely tempting. Oh, Roast Chicken, Mac and green, mac and Cheese, and Green Beans? Speak my language. Snap it off. Oh, that's, uh, see, that's, that's nice. That's a, that's a perk. I also have a, a thing like this in my deck, but it's I don't I don't have it now. I mean ideally they play Hero of Blade Hold this turn and we get to manatize it. <laughs> well they're not gonna do that. Ugh. Don't like that. I think Mana Tide just got significantly worse. Cyclismo, congrats, dude. One year being vegetarian is awesome. Oh, Mother of Runes. They don't have second white? Fascinating. Hmm. 
Well, I don't see that making any kind of splash. Cyclismo, do you know if the McPlant is going to have a Big Mac version? Because all I saw was like a regular burger version with like mayo and mustard and ketchup and stuff. If they make a Big Mac version though, boy, I'm definitely in. Oh, David, happy birthday to you, buddy. A happy birthday to everyone. And to all, a happy birthday. You got it. I shall take three. Big Macs are like legit my, my favorite fast food item that I just don't eat because I don't eat red meat. Well, I'd like to swords this right now so that we're not like super behind here. Because if they if their thalia resolves, you just can't cast this. So, yeah, this is a pretty good thing that's happening. Okie dokie. <laughs> Do we just ram thalia into thalia? Yeah, probably. I mean, reason being like. We're never going to be able to attack again because they're Mother of Runes. And we also can't really block because of their Mother of Runes. And if they want to just trade their Thalias, that makes our Sun Titan better. And our... Okay, well, that's probably going to be game. <laughs> See, the one time I don't have mana tied up is the one time they actually tap out for a Lyra. That makes sense. Oh, man. Impossible Whopper sounds legit. Maybe I'll have that tonight. Amiria's call, Amiria's call. Two thalias on the board makes it hard to do things. I guess we'll play Council's Judgment. That's all we got. I will name your Lyra. It's too bad they didn't vote for something else. Yes, we just we just talked about the the Mick plant. Which is the McDonald's plant burger. What's he like? It's not important. Particle man. Mm -hmm. I, I also heard part. No, it was definitely to the tune of Particle Man. <laughs> when you hear Particle Man, but it's not Particle Man. It was Particle Man. John, good seeing you, my dude. Oh, Silverblade Paladin. I mean, they're just drawing more creatures than we are, and that's really what it comes down to this match, unfortunately. That's what happens, though, you know? Sometimes you draw more creatures. We can tap that Mutavolt. Oh, you're activating the Mutavolt. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. So we could take four, or we could just kill their Mutavolt, huh? I think we're just taking the Thalias off the board, playing Sun Titan, and getting Thalia back. Oh, they have Mother of Runes. Uh, uh, so it still prevents the damage, that's fine. Yeah, Mother sucks. But if they want to tap out from... That's fine. Yeah, okay. Man, Mother of Runes is a real, real fair card. How come we don't have a Mother of Runes? Give me just a plane so I can keep this Amira's Call in my hand for one more turn. Thank you. So generous. Do 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 do. That's not terrible. It's, I don't think it's great, but it's not terrible. We can actually block every turn now and then still. Get our Thalia back when we attack. Mana Tide's looking rough. I mean, if we get both these Thalias off the board, which is virtually impossible, then we can cast the Miri's Call, but... You know. Odds are low. 
But we have great blocks here. 7-7 seven, seven Sun Titan, not terrible. Like, uh, yeah, that's true. It's true. What's it like? It's not important. Michael B. Michael B. He lives in the tree. They didn't do anything. That's nice. Okay, that's also pretty pretty juice. No, because this is a sorcery in the graveyard. But also, we just put it down like face down as a as a shattered sky clave. So, Oh, I think this, yeah, the spell land's been great so far. Three, four, five, six mana. So it's either a four mana spell or a six mana creature. It is a Faith's Fetters. Again, mana tithe costs three, right? One, two, three, yep. I guess I could have played Amiria's Call and just kept up mana tithe, but the odds of them playing something for six is, I don't know, didn't seem super high. And they're just like getting in there. Hmm. Well, it's pretty good. Sure. Just do a little crunch here. I mean, I think we're dead if they activate me to vault here, actually. So. But they don't know what we have, so. Nobody knows Particle Man. Oh, they're going for it. Yep, they got it. It's a weird matchup. I kind of want... <laughs> I kind of want a Leshnorn here.
That's kind of funny. I don't want to like risk the, the the consistency of the man. Oh, this is actually this hand's great. Yeah, I don't want to risk the consistency of the mana base to, to splash red here. Because then it turns off things like Spectral Procession. We have double double white cards on, on three. Well, I don't think we need to land. We have 17 lands. So, I mean, like, you're not playing 18 lands in decks that have a Leshnor naturally, so I'm just going to play 17 still. But, oh, they went, they went to five against this hand. Uh, that's pretty rough. Yes, we cut tithe. That is correct. We are on the same page there. Nobody knows Particle Man. Oh, fascinating. Hmm. Yeah, I do think it's honor than Dahlia. Reason being that like A honor's cheaper and B it lets us attack this turn. That was very good. Now we can play a two drop and pump him up. Oh boy. Alternatively, we could have played two two drops, but I think getting this guy to like double strike level is probably important. Look out for fight as one. Yeah, that's a card like I've literally shit on ever since they added it. I'm just like, why are you in here? It does feel like there's more grindy, like, mid-range matches. That's interesting that you mentioned that. Someone said... I think it was Kerwood, actually, who yesterday was like, this feels weird for a cube. But I don't mind it. Like, it's actually been pretty decent. Like, I've actually had a good time with it so far, so... Over my draw step. Uh, pair with you, sure. So now we still get four in? Oh no, we don't. They're gonna... Unexpectedly absent for zero. Drawing that guy again next turn, huh? You got it. An island? Well, no man is an island. Hero of Blade Hold. Well, if they want to take 12 here, that's fine. Otherwise, we get to trade with a hero. No Nicol Bolas in this cube at all? That's messed up. I think getting rid of Moat is fine. I think Moat's one of the... Oh, they're just taking 12. Wow. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Oh, 
strategy, Cod. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, and we win the game. Apparently you just swarmed the board with your white creatures and that's that's good enough. Three color cards are useless anyway. I disagree. I'm consistently playing three color cards and having fun with them. I mean, like, what's your what's your definition of useless? Like, not tier one? Like, sure, that's fine. But, like, I'm regularly going 2-1 with three color cards like Nicol Bolas or Leovold or whoever. So... Um, no one drop here. You ready to digest this one? Let's hear it. They often don't come in, in your deck and remain in the they don't come in your deck and remain in the packs. What do you mean? They got there's no tooth and nail in this cube? Mm. No, don't like that. That's stupid. Yeah, that's rough. Tooth and Nail is just a classic. Like, eh. is this gonna be another mono white matchup? Cause remember yesterday we didn't we play two of the same decks back to back? I don't know. Soundboard's a little quiet. Seriously. Oh, I have the desktop audio muted. I'm terrible. So it's, it should have been like... No, don't, don't like, like that. that. Yeah, there you go. Good call, guys. Good calls. Good calls? Call? You get it. Yeah, that's... that's Tooth and Nail is weird. That's a weird choice because that's like... That incentivizes the green decks to play things like Kozilek and Ulamog if you don't get channel. Like, it's really... That's interesting. Also, I wouldn't look at... Is this, is this seriously mono? What in the earth? What is happening? Is this... Am I playing double back-to-back -back mono white decks? How is that even possible? Well, we're not going to hit a land here. That is aggressive. So you're playing mono white because they removed three color cards? Okay, I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm like, oh, no Nicobolas, huh? Mono white. Wow, just another blue white deck? Okay. Alright, well. Don't like anything that's happening here. No, don't like that either. I assume you mean green mythic spell land, not grip mythic spell land, because I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't think those, those aren't really the same at all. Oh, good, Ancestral. I guess that's why you splash blue in your mono white deck. Yeah, those don't do similar things. When I replace things in my cube, I usually like to have them do the same, like, or similar things. Okay, so this is just some blue white nonsense. God, I wish I played Spirit last turn. Yeah, like if I remove like a Terminate, I'm going to replace it with a Dreadbore, you know, so the cube has similar things that it's doing. Whereas like, I'm not going to take out a Tooth and Nail and replace it with a green Mythic Land. Also, Matt, I don't know if we discussed this, but I'm actually tempted to, to increase my cube to 540. Finale is Toothish, but it's not, but not really. Like 9 mana versus 12 mana is significantly different. So they have to tuck Spirit here, right? Otherwise they don't get to draw anything. I'm tucking that guy. That's fine, because we're just going to Council of Judgment this and kill the Teferi. Right, the problem is that, like, at 360 or 3... I think it's 360 right now, which is what I have my cube at. Like, there's so many cards that come out that I want to add that, like, I really have to, like... Oh, good. Okay, so they're just they're just crushing us here. <sighs> 
Yeah, like, I mean, there's so many cards that I want to put in the cube. Like, I have to, like, I have to count for, like, five sets that came out this year. And if I want to add, like, six cards or 12 cards or whatever, you know, two per set maybe, it's really hard to cut 12 staples. Like, because eventually you get to the point where, like, there's just cube staples where you're like, okay, this is definitely a card I need in the cube. Like, you know, things like Abrupt Decay slash Assassin's Trophy or, like, Maelstrom Pulse. Like, all these cards, like, you have to have some iteration of, some version of them in the cube. So it's really hard to, like... There's certain things that you, like, there's almost like a baseline of cards in the cube that you have to have to just fulfill utility. And, like, it gives you, like, a certain amount of flexibility. I was also a 360 purist because I liked having, I, I, I liked knowing that every card was going to be drafted, right? Like, so if I'm drafting Splinter Twin, I know that Kiki Jiki and, and Pestermine are both in the, in the cube. They're in the, they're in the packs somewhere. But, like... Alternatively, I've also grown to like the fact that sometimes it's not going to be in there, and sometimes you're drafting differently every time. It almost makes it so it's like two cubes, if that makes sense. Hey, look, it's a Danto Vanguard. Yeah, I remember you and I cutting your cube down to 360. Like, I remember sitting there and being like, all right, let's cut it down. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, that was actually great. That was a great time. Man, I miss you guys. Fuck. I really don't feel like we're winning this game, unfortunately. How are you and Charles Melvin doing? <laughs> okay, see, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Charles Melvin. That's a wow. That goes back to just last night, I think. Oh, uh, I don't want to play Stone Cold for four because then they can just kill it, and we don't really have a great board presence here. Maybe it's just equip here. Yeah, I think it's just equip Vanguard. Gotta say, I love them having four cards here. Oh boy. Very aggressive. We're killing one, because if they have a removal spell, I'd rather get rid of one of these permanently than have them... Well, they're definitely killing my guy because there's a sure. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. I can't I can't win this game against an active Elspeth when I'm like playing one ones a turn. I am gonna bring in a Leshnorn yet again, which is kind of comical. We also they're also playing a two color deck and they had literal just mono basics there, so that's fascinating. I could see taking out like path here, just leaving swords. Did they play a tundra? Interesting. I don't think I saw it. Yeah, I could see wasteland just being in here. It's only one colorless land. The only thing it hurts, literally the only thing it would hurt is a uh, Spectral Procession. Because you're never going to have more than one colorless land, so. But, we'll see. Wasteland might just be a, be a main deck inclusion, actually. It might just be a better card than the uh, 15th Plains. My phone will stop yelling at me today because of the hurricane. Oh my god. Brett, that's awesome. <laughs> As a former Floridian who literally loved like because they're never hurricanes it's always like trop it's always like oh it's downgraded to a tropical storm and you're like oh all right cool that's cool 
I don't know. It was always kind of exciting because it was nice weather. Like I liked the tropical storms, rainy weather. Like it was just kind of. Why isn't Wasteland Maine? I I don't know. Well, they didn't oust this guy. Mostly for spectral procession reasons. Like I didn't want to like accidentally draw Wasteland and not be able to cast spectral. But I do I do I do I do think the cost is minimal. So. I do love the ambiance. Yeah, it's weird. It's hard to explain to people who, like, never live in Florida. But, like, a lot of times it's just kind of, like, relaxing. Like, it's funny to say it, but it's, like, when it's not a full-blown hurricane, it's just kind of relaxing weather. Like, it rain, it gets rainy all day. It's just, like, it's kind of nice. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Mike was also, Mike is off today and he was going to stream with me, but then he was like, I'm just going to go to sleep instead, I guess. I don't know where, I don't know what he's doing. This guy encountered? You got to have something. Fucking mana tithe. Oh, God. This guy's the worst. Ancestral recall. Mana tithe, ancestral recall turn. Seems good. <laughs> oh, don't mind my ancestor recall time walk turns. <laughs> yeah, the one time nobody asks where's Mike, and he's literally home. He's literally home. I don't know what he's doing because it's literally two p.m. But. Gijinjurino. Oh man, Murray conjecture would be legit right here. Oh, I'll get back ancestral. Oh, I'll get back time walk. I'll cast them both at the same turn. I have to assume if you get both of these, you just snap, pick up Mirari Conjecture to live the dream, right? Thanks to the new Cobalt Legend from Final Legend, we're going to build a 60 card Cobalt Tribal deck because it sounds like a stupid fun, like stupid fun to play. It might turn into a commander deck if it goes well. Hope your drums are full of awesome. Zimini Pot, I appreciate you, buddy. I'll take four here. Oh my god, Brett with the 10 gifted subs. You are amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, even though my sleep schedule has been miserable for me. 11? Is it 11? Or is it 11? Thank you! Was it 11? 10? Was there another one? Thank you! Dang it, I didn't even... Where is it? I didn't even see it. Brad, I appreciate you, buddy. You are awesome. <laughs> Thank you! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna look up Florida weather right now, because now I'm really curious... Because honestly, it's, it's going to sound weird, but that is like the one thing I miss. Oh, I see. So I'm just going to draw that guy again, is what you're saying? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. One more time. Thank you. Oh, there it is. All right. There it is. Yeah, Tropical Storm. Is it Edda? Tropical Storm Edda. I was like, ETA. What's the Tropical Storm's estimated time? I mean, they have five cards. Thank we have... You. We're not playing the same game here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're in the Greek alphabet now. Tropical Storm Delta. Uh, Tropical Storm Delta is spreading heavy rainfall, strong winds, and surge flooding. The surge flooding's rough. Like, that's not ideal. But... The strong winds and, and, and heavy rainfall is nice. Like, that's just... That's just nice. I'm in class and you're muted, but can you give me a sign show you care? <laughs> it's 
hilarious. Yep. This guy's gonna be... Strong winds and heavy rain is just a regular afternoon. It's like, oh, is that it? I've already, like, sometimes you'll play a match and you're like, I've already conceded this match in my heart. There's no way this resolves. Although I haven't seen a lot of counter spells like Dissolve or Disallow in the format. Like, maybe those are just not as popular. And by not as popular, I mean maybe they're removed. That's what I'm saying. Oh, good. You happen to have Leon and Relic Warder. Oh my fucking god. This is amazing. No, you have a great heart. <laughs> oh, I'm not in class and you're not muted, but can you saw this can you saw the sign? It opened <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore, Christopher. I can't be your friend anymore after this one. Yeah, you let it resolve and then you disallow the germ token. And you're like, oh dang. And it opened up my eyes and saw the sign. No one's gonna drag you up to get into the line where you belong. Now, 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 do we just equip here? Because that seems decent. No, we can't. It's five to equip? God, why is it so freaking expensive, man? like they're keeping one up I'm basically paying four life a turn to get rid of night tokens and that's not ideal it's not sustainable but that's okay five mana in this economy eh, what can you do in, in, in every economy we're going we're going to be worldwide Okay, I never don't have the things you need. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this Ancestral version suspended. God, they got all the Ancestrals. Oh, what up, Timmy? Alright, let's do it again, I guess. Go to, like, four. Oh, then they just kill us with this guy. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, it wasn't... We're not winning that game if we let everything resolve anyway, so it's like, what? Like, either we go to four or we go to three. I mean, three keeps us alive, sure, but... Uh, we're not gonna beat the Ancestor Recall Time Walk deck that has every fucking answer that they need at every given time, so... Oh, let's put that... Let's put the wasteland in. I've convinced myself. Oh, see, here we go. This is, see, this is what I was afraid of. I'm still going to keep it because we're mono white for crying out loud. This is my fault. <laughs> oh, I blame myself. I'm tempted to get rid of that guy, but I really think what they can play after. Okay, all right. Spirit of the Labyrinth. No, don't commit. Don't commit spooku. We still need you. Your only hope. Courser of Crucifix. No, just a two mana card. Oh boy. Things are happening here, guys. It 
Interesting. Oh man, look at all these nerds. I would have killed this guy immediately had I not. Oh my god. I mean, I'm 100%. If you want to trade with Llanowar Elf, that's fine. This guy's just a. Oh wow, that's great damage. That's some great free damage that we're talking about here. Chitte would be Thank you. unbelievable. Yurt, what up? Thank you so much for the resub, my dude. One whole year? Happy one year anniversary, Yurt. This is a lot of things on the board that don't do anything, but are still... It's a little aggressive here, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, this is going to be good next turn with swords. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana right now. And I'm definitely tempted to just kill one of these guys to put them back on six. Because if they play like Avenger of Zendikar, that's a little frustrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Joy Division's great, but this is actually a Jawbreaker shirt parodying the Joy Division album. Yeah, this also makes another guy. This has got to be fine, right? I can't imagine what they can draw that, like, counteracts Honor of the Pure with all of these things on the board that's also going to trigger Monastery Mentor. They can't harmonize. Uh, there's not a ton. I mean, maybe Arbor Elf's just better anyway. Because if they do have, like, a tropical island, they can make double blue from it. They did not sack Sakura Tribe Elder, which is good for us. Not necessarily great for them. Ooh. Is it up new? And open the eyes and Man, Wasteland looking pretty rough here. What up, Peaches? Have you checked out Jets to Brazil? Yes, obviously. I've I've yes, I have every Jets to Brazil album and I have heard every Jets to Brazil album. They've also Blake Schwarzenbach is also in a band called The Forgetters, which is also very good. So you should check them out if you're Jawbreaker and Justin Brazil fans. Well, it depends on what this is. This could be like Woodfall Primus, Kill Spirit, and then it's like, well, that's pretty good. But... Thank you! It's not necessarily great. Unknown Pleasures, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. It's actually kind of funny because the shirt says unfun pleasures at the bottom. Crater Hoof, I don't think Crater Hoof wins in the game either. So that's interesting. They could just have Crater Hoof in hand and try to kill us this turn. Oh, we can just wasteland their guy's cradle now? That's bananas. Ooh. Is enough to honor of the pure as all the sun. Definitely getting rid of this. I don't know why you have Crater of Mana next turn. Um, so they got three blockers, right? Block, block, block. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They go to two, but they do get to eat our mentor, and I think that's actually Thank fine. You. Watch for cubes. Subscribe for the Jets of Zola. A homeschool Joey. I appreciate you, my dude. Yep, this is exactly what I figured they'd do. Oh, they're going to get the goose out of there, too. Oh, put the goose in the... The goose in the trash. 
trash goose every day but can we wasteland their bananas thank you i don't know what that means oh you're with the gifted sub you guys are awesome i appreciate all of you oh you're with thank the five you. gifted sub gifted sub to monsonster how does monsonster not just have a sub that's it's basically insulting thank you little little hurt little hurt by it little yurt by it Lil Yurt is also a friggin' fantastic Thank hip-hop you. name. A rapper name? I'll just say rapper name. Thank you. Oh, we just won the game. Do you guys see that we won the game? Thank you. Oh, old man Silver and Scofasco. Thank you guys so much for the resubs. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Two years and ten months. You know, respectively, not, not at the same time. Okay, I think we're just fine like this. It's got to be a lush orange again, right? It's got to be. The lush orange is just like I'm just boarding it in every time. I kind of like Manatide. The thing is, like Manatide, they're ramping to like play the biggest thing. They're like, oh, I'm gonna play Primeval Titan on turn three with all my mana. There's definitely times where you can get wrecked because they have an excess of mana, but then there's definitely times you can do the wrecking because they have exactly enough mana so it's kind of like i'm gonna submit because 17 mana with this slightly we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens i like wasteland because they do have gaia's cradle which is Christopher, I hate you for getting this song stuck in my head. This is actively the worst, dude. Unbelievable. That's brutal, man. You're welcome. No. Somebody needs to time you out. Forever. Time him out forever. Sing boom, boom, boom. I don't know. I don't think I know that song. I probably do if I heard it. Off the top of my head, though, I'm like, what is that song? One land, huh? No, don't link that. One land, huh? No, don't like that. Okay, I guess we'll just ship these too. Oh, wow. Good times. Yep, seems good. So hold up here. Are they conceding? Did they keep a hand with no lands? Yeah, happy Veterans Day, everybody. Um, I was actually thought this was Italian. I got real excited, but... Then I was not excited because it was not Nathalia. Such a white move. It is. It's true. Okay. Look at all these plants. 
It is Veterans Day, my dudes. Fascinating. I think playing Blades Placer into Hero is just significantly better at this juncture than wastelanding their one botanical sanctum when they have Noble Hierarch Sloven Carry added, so. We'll see. We'll see when they play Primeval Titan here and kill us. Oh boy. Oh boy, sometimes you're just you're just way too accurate. Oh they're they're oh, that's it? I don't care about that at all. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Apparently we completed a hype train, but the last sub was five minutes ago, so that's kind of weird. Bernard. 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 Birthing pod, huh? Well, that's a thing. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, buy low stunks. <laughs> buy low. So high. Will do. Will do. Will do. You guys hear them trains coming? Oh, they're just gonna get Primeval Titan? That's real good. Yep, this is the thing they're doing. Yeah, that's just how the typing sounds. You know a card I love? Swords or Path. One time. Give me a Swords or a Path. Look at all these lands are getting... St what are you? Steam Vents? I guess it's just an island for... Oh, that'll do. I accept. I'm gonna name Primeval Titan, because all your other creatures suck right now, so. Uh, always put the battle cry on the bottom. Sure. Um, I, I'm actually trying to save this with the mom because I don't think they have like a removal spell for the hero. But if they do, if they have like control magic or something, it's terrible for us. So, eh, we'll just let it happen. I would be tempted to, to, to wasteland one of their cards, but they already have Sylvan Carry added, so it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're taking them from 8 mana to 7 mana, which is not super exciting. And also, I do want to play Batter Skull at this game, so. Swords and path and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and swords and path. It's actually very good. Oh my god. Why? Why? I have a pain in my heart. <laughs> Hence the ambulance. Yeah, they're coming for me. They're like, he's not doing good. Let's go help him out. Oh god. What is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight? Nine mana. Oh, it's just five mana because it's a deranged Hermie. Got it. Man, these five drops, huh? Am I right? Fashion related to the party spirit of the labyrinth. So I'd actually be tempted to pay 5 for this and then crack it next turn. Hmm. 
So let's get on with you, you, and you. If we're just trading for squirrels, I think that's actually fine. I'm not super concerned with that. Interesting. I think they forgot about Mother of Runes. Which is good, because they're not trying to get me to, to crack Mother of Runes. Oh, they're not gonna... Oh, they're just gonna kill this guy. This is all very fascinating. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, that's actually good. I mean, getting rid of the Drain Charm is great, because now they can't pot into a 6-drop. Oh, what up, Dobby? That's fine. Sure. That's kind of obnoxious. So I'm kind of hoping we can play... Oh, boy. Is this Crater Hoof? Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Crater Hoof is a card. Has it ever not been Hoof? No, they always have it. It's never... I've never seen them not have it. I'm actually not familiar with what that looks like. That was a mull to five for us. Yeah, it's true. I mean... It's a good point. Yeah, I can actually see cutting Thalia. It is it is worse for us than it is for them. What's hold up here? This is a long sideboard sesh. You know what? I will keep this. Five mallets is playing most of the cards in our deck. And uh, the curve's not terrible. We get to crack the clue on two, play Paladin on three. There's lots of things we can draw. They have a lot of one drops. The odds of them not having one drop is statistically low. I mean, they're at 19. I don't know how they come back from this. Yeah. 
I'm 0-2 with what I thought was a pretty good random air deck, and I'm sad now. Buddy, that is the, the way of the vintage cube, unfortunately. The vintage cube giveth and the vintage cube taketh away. The vintage cube is taken taken it away right now, as a matter of fact. Take my money. Oh, okay. There are strings attached to this crisp digital ten dollar bill. Please read to the stream at your earliest convenience the first four paragraphs of the Wikipedia page for Terrare. T A I don't even know what that is. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Well, I also couldn't even see who that was from because the message was long. Interesting. This actually feels pretty decent for us here. Okay. I'm tempted to sort this, but there might be bigger fish to fry. We'll see. Interesting. Also interesting. Let's Silver Blade Soul Bond with your boy. Get in there. Do the do the dirty deed. Okay. Okay. All this is okay. So one, two, three, four. This guy's dying. I'm just going to get rid of this guy now. Oh, they didn't even activate that. That's fascinating. Well, our hand is good. That's fine. Oof. Oof. Oh man, next turn, that's insane. That's fine. It's always fine. Everything's fine. I don't think they have anything in their hand, man. Land. Oh, seven, double seven. Oh, I guess we can just play this, right? A Shattered Skyclave and then play a Leshnorn. Oh my god, are we going to 2-1? I didn't want to play this, but if you're going to win the game, do it with a Leshnorn, the seven drop in your mono white deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Manatraders.com has a great way to save 15% off on your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. The great, great rental service from Magic Online. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to Twitch. Give me a sub. Give me a follow. I'll see you next time.